now Dobbo. He's been missing for a couple of weeks, but Morgo Monday has returned straight off the slopes of New Zealand. Morgo, welcome back, mate. Thank you. Let's just drill down first off. Um, you heard in the sports wrap uh, the Titans three out of three, and they dispatched of the Cowboys uh, thirty six points to fourteen. Um, now look. Morgo, you're a premiership player, you're a North Queensland Cowboy, you're going to be a Hall of Famer, life member, or everything. But eight eight losses in a row, they're in a real rut at the moment. And I can't put my finger on it. I, I, is it time to shift Jason Tumalolo back to the middle rather than playing him on the edge? That's the first thing. And, mate, for me the concern is that they're not buying into this new game plan of, of Todd Payton. It just, it just doesn't seem to be a happy place at the moment in North Queensland. Yeah, it's um look yesterday was probably one of the more difficult games to watch. Um and look Jason first I I've always liked him in the middle years ago. Uh they tried him on the edge and um you relying on someone else to get him the footy or to create a bit of space for him when it is what when he gets it in his hands straight off the dummy half, he's got good feet, he can create his own space. Um, yeah. So I like him in there with more minutes, really. That's just my opinion. Um, I haven't been in there, so haven't been able to talk to Toddy, actually, no. um, to let him know. But And, yeah, look, it is difficult. Eight, eight losses in a row. I know that the boys are struggling and being in the bubble for the past, however long it's been now, certainly makes it feel tougher than what it is, I think. It really exaggerates how you're feeling and you know not being able to have... the a different escape from it or anything like that. And I know that they're working hard because I have spoken to them. They say that training's good. Um, they do train well, but for some reason or another, it's just not clicking on the weekends. And they, they've they unfortunately another year of a few injuries as well. Um, you know, so there's no, no consistency in whether it be on the edges or in the middle. Um, there's been injuries across the park, you know, to lose Hammerso the way we did a couple of weeks ago. And so Val comes back into the team and there's just, yeah, no, there's been no consistency for a little while. And uh, it, do, it doesn't help, but um, it's not an excuse either, but it just makes things a bit more difficult. I, I will say this and you're right. I mean, you look at Brisbane without Katoni Staggs, one player does make a difference. Uh, the, taking the hammer out, and he's been he, he's so lethal. And that combination with Val makes such a difference. Playing him in the centres, it, it's a game changer. Do do you think that potentially um, things are going to be all right? I mean, the, the Tom did an experiment at the moment. It, 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 I mean, Todd's come out and said he backs him. He, he, he's just going to get improvement out of improvement. And and I understand. It's concerning, but if you're a Cowboys supporter at the moment, you are deeply concerned by what is going on up there because it's not like they've got the big names coming. You know, they're relying on their players, and 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 to be honest with you, Todd's in a lot of ways he's not cleaning up the mess of Paul Green. But there's a lot of players contracted this roster that were part of the Paul Paul Green regime that are still there that you just can't get out of. And Brisbane are seeing it with what Kevy's having to go through. There's a lot of because of previous decisions, these young coaches are having to deal with it. So it's going to take a few years. Yeah, it will. So long-term for the Cowboys, I have a lot of confidence. Even next year. I know this year has been more difficult, but I think... Uh, and look, Tommy did, and I feel really bad for because you talk to anyone there and he, you know, he... He he works extremely hard. He uh, works as hard as anyone else there to on his own game. And then he, he was also working hard to just try and fit into the new group. And sure. When he got there, uh, you know, with Cliffo being in the team before he left, I, I felt like Cliffo and Drinky had really found their way to playing playing together. And with Val at the back, the one six seven nine had really found their, I guess, their spot in the team and how they fit into it all. Uh, so then the changes happen. You know, Tommy has come in, and like I said, he's worked extremely hard. But I think they just haven't clicked in. You know, figuring that same thing out. And it took Cliffo and Drinky for a little while, long to do time, it as well. Yep. Um, but and so it's just it sort of was restarting that process. And when you have then a different fullback every three weeks, I mean, we had Jakey Granville playing fullback the last two weeks. Well, they shouldn't um, have been so the, 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 the no try to, to the no try to Cole Field against the um, Broncos. I don't care what anybody says. I know Broncos went on with it, but they were on the rack when the Cowboys scored that try. It was twenty four twenty if they that tries um, yeah. it, it allowed. And mate, Brisbane were on their knees. You can say what you like about it; they were, they were, and I was calling that game. So it's funny momentum shifts it as well. They do hang in. They are tougher, this Cowboys yeah. side. They will hang in and scrap over a bone. So you saw them against Melbourne. They they have got those yeah. kind of performances in them. You're confident moving forward, Morgo? Long term, I am, yes. I, I, I really am. I've got full confidence, Toddy, in the way he coaches and 
bringing the best out in players. Like I said, I just think things haven't clicked uh, for one reason or another. It's just no consistency. If it's not one thing, you know, Melbourne, we put in a great effort, but then the following week, people question the effort the following week against Brisbane. So it's just doing things consistently. Yeah. It's been a problem for a long time now, or the last few years of doing things consistently, putting it together for 80 minutes, but then also two weeks in a row. So, um, yeah, look, it, it's a difficult position at the moment, but long term, I am confident. Four more weeks and Todd Payton gets a pre-season, uh, gets a season out of the way. He'll get a pre-season. He gets players, get their injuries right. They can come back. Mm-hmm. 2022 looks a lot better. Quickly, pick the grand finalists if you had to pick them today. Who, who's in the grand final today? Manly, Melbourne. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I think yeah. I think that's the way it might head. South Sydney might have a case to answer for, but I don't believe yeah. Penrith are going to get there. 